All right, so boom, check it out. What we got right here is honey jerk salmon in the air fryer with some roasted potatoes and some sauteed spinach. But one question for you. Are you working to get your body back in shape from COVID or are you going to let the beach take whatever body you bring? But let's get started. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with our salmon first. So what we're going to do is get some seafood seasoning. Now, my friend Sarah, uh, the owner of Belay and Bell, she sent me the seafood seasoning. She has a line of other spices, which are really dope. And uh, the video isn't sponsored by her or anything like that, but it's just that good. <laughs> it's just that good. Like she got this crack sauce. Ooh, wee. So anyway, so you're going to sprinkle a little bit over the top, you know, just a little bit, just like this here. So for measurement purposes, go with the tablespoon. OK, there's low sodium in this, so you'll be OK if you end up heavy handed it. No worries. Then we're going to do some Jamaican allspice. So we're going to go ahead and put the Jamaican allspice in here. For those of y'all that already know how I move in the kitchen, you know that I don't really measure precisely, but I would say use about a tablespoon to start, all right? Because that has a nice little heat to it. And then we get some smoked paprika. Use that instead of regular paprika because like, it might cost a little more, but it's worth it, I promise you. All right, and you already know, we gotta add some garlic powder on in that thing, all right? So let's go ahead and get that in. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and work the seasonings on the sides. So get it just like that there. And on the side there. All right, so that's the easy part. We got that on out the way. So the reason we did this first is we wanna let those spices seep into the salmon so that way it's flavorful throughout. So you're gonna put that on a plate, set it in the refrigerator, put it in a bowl or whatever, and then we're gonna let that you know do its thing out the way. So anyway, moving on, we got our sweet potato here. You just need one large sweet potato, depending on how many people you're gonna feed. And then if you don't have a potato pillar, you can use a knife. Just be careful with it. Uh, a potato pillar is gonna be a lot easier. So. Uh, if you want to leave the the skin on, that's your business. You're the one that's eating it. Now, once this part is done, very simple. You go ahead, throw away the peels, and then we're gonna get started on cutting the sweet potato. Please watch it in between steps, okay? Because remember, these sweet potatoes are out in the field. They get on trucks, things like that. Just bugs, all right? Just make sure you wash your dog on produce. So with a sharp knife, what you want to do is just cut down like so. Don't be scared of it now. That's when you end up injuring yourself. So yeah, just cut them into thick slices like that. And then what we're going to do is just simply cut them again. Cut them as finely as you want or as coarse as you want. Because look, this is ultimately your masterpiece. I'm just the instructor. Like that leads me to a story, right? So I've always loved going to wine and painting. And I can't seem to get those pictures right whenever I go. You know what I mean? Like the instructor, they be like, you want to do a line like this here. And you want to run your brush ever so gently. And like, it just always comes out looking like a five-year-old like kindergarten project. I'm not really sure what it is. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I used to struggle with the stick figures even back in elementary school. But anyway, that's besides the point. So as you see here, we're just about wrapped up. So we're gonna go ahead and finish cutting and move on over to our next step. Oh, and before I forget, these next few steps are gonna move pretty quickly. So I'll just let you know now. What you're gonna need is some sort of large bowl to go ahead and place all these cut up potatoes in. Whether it's sweet potato or it's red potato, russet, that, that don't really too much matter. You can freestyle this, however. But yeah, we're gonna place those in a bowl and get our spices together and season them on up. And the thing is with the air fry, it's such a beautiful thing. This is gonna take a few minutes to cook. First things first, spray your potatoes down with some olive oil or you can drizzle some olive oil over it. Then we're gonna get some grill made smokehouse maple seasoning. Oh my God, this thing is so good. It goes on ribs, it goes on anything you just wanna add a little smoky sweet flavor to. And what I'm doing on the back of that label there, just showing you guys, is a lot of these spices that we use on a regular day-to-day -day basis, be careful. Uh, the main ingredient oftentimes is gonna be salt. And if you ever wonder if your food ended up being a little bit overly salty, it's because you probably mixed a lot of those type of things together. Then next, smoked paprika, as you know, is one of my bays. Like, it's essential. So you do that just because it has more flavor and you actually get some out of it as opposed to regular paprika, which is just decorative. So you do about a tablespoon of that. Everything we're doing is about a tablespoon, essentially. You can add more, but that's just a rough guideline. So start low and go slow. But you're going to get some 
uh, ground peppercorns and we're just simply going to go ahead and grind a few up which we're going to do about a teaspoon and a half roughly tablespoon don't really too much matter just go ahead and let the spirit guide you you know what i'm talking about not really sure how many times i'm gonna say this but you the one ultimately that gotta eat this right again i can give you the blueprint now it's up to which direction you go from there you know what i mean you can add more add less don't add it all it really don't too much matter but anyway we're gonna move on over and get our garlic powder here so garlic powder is just that it's just love it's like smoked paprika garlic powder just go hand in hand they work well together so you do about a tablespoon or two and then we're gonna go ahead and shake everything on up make sure those spices get on each potato you know no potato left behind i guess whatever you know what i'm saying and then once they nice and incorporated and everything like you like we're gonna go ahead and get our air fryer basket and we're gonna air fry these at 400 degrees for approximately about 25 30 minutes you know if you want them extra crispy maybe a little burnt you can do a little bit more time whatever floats your boat on that what i'm gonna say about air fryers is this they make your life a lot easier as opposed to an oven and it's a lot more energy efficient but anyway so we're gonna move on to our salmon because assuming that everything has been cooked all we gotta do now is wait on our salmon to finish cooking and then we're ready to plate this thing on up and eat right so what you're gonna do is Air fry these at 400 degrees or 390 degrees, whatever your air fryer said and says. And you're going to do about 15 to 17 minutes, depending on how like moist you want your salmon to be. I prefer not to be dry because I don't like eating anything dry. But anyway, look, so no meal is complete without vegetables of some kind. In my humble opinion, you know, a lot of y'all, you can do double starches in your meals. I, I prefer not to. So we got a bag of spinach here that we've washed already. We squoze a lemon in there and then we're adding in some salt, some garlic powder. And then simply with the spinach, since it already has water retained in it, you really don't need to add any extra oil because that's just taken away from the nutritional value of everything by adding extra fats. So you're gonna cook that down until it's nice and wilted, but not browned. All right, and here's our sauce for the salmon. So you're gonna get two tablespoons or two teaspoons of some jerk sauce, Walker's Wood or Grace's, doesn't matter. Then you get some honey, squeeze that on in, get a little bit of liquid smoke to balance out some of that stuff there. And then you simply go ahead and mix everything around. Now with jerk, if it's too hot, add a little bit of brown sugar up in there too to balance it, right? Now, this is the final product right here. <laughs> yes, Lord, when I try to tell you, look, eating healthy don't mean that you gotta eat broccoli and rice all the time and it gotta be boring, I promise you. I'll catch you on the next recipe. And if you didn't know, now you're about to know my new cookbook, Food is My Love Language, will be out by March 30th. Let's get it.